All right, this is my basic art project, and you don't have to do anything with it. This is just for me to show you how I did this one. I'm going to turn each part off here, but before I do that, I noticed that my coffee cup is relatively porous, so I'm going to try to put in less than or equal. There we go. That looks a little better. Now I'm going to turn it off, actually. There we go. Coffee cup is gone, and I'm going to take one piece away after another from the face. And then I explain how I did each one of them. Notice one of them was turned off anyway. I'm, well, I'll tell you later. So here we go. So the last thing we turn off. Okay, let's start with the face. We can already see that this one is an ellipse. And there it is. And of course, if I manipulated this one here, then it would look different, like this one. Right? In fact, I mentioned that I'd like to put these squares in because then we can more easily see that this one, in fact, is one axis, half axis here is too long, that's this one, and the other one is one long, that's this one here. All right, so here's the ellipse, apparently this oval face. Um, I'm going to put this one in, so I made an eye here, and I made a second eye, there we go. And I could have also put a equal in here, and it would look like this. And if I just put an equal here, like that well then I have kind of a um, eye with nothing in there but I didn't want to have the color in there so I make it less and I have a filled eye and less filled eye and I guess if I zoom in here for example we can see it's a little bit dashed there but that's okay for my purposes again the next one here I'm gonna leave off this one here again looks like a an ellipse so here we go and so what I did with this particular ellipse, if I took this one out, this part out here, right there, Control X, there we go, there's the ellipse, but, oh, I didn't want to have this kind of mouth. So I put that restriction in there. There we go. And of course, for the other, so so that, that way it only shows the lower part of this ellipse and make it a, makes it a mouth now. And then, of course, I had to shift this one here carefully. I wanted it to have it to be in the right place. So if I, for example, put a zero here, there we go. Actually, ooh, what, what happened now? Oh, oh, that's because of the restriction here. So I'm going to make a 2 here instead. Notice that, oh, that's too low, right? So I adjusted it just right, so I get a 1.1 1 .1 there. And of course, these here I also had to adjust, so if I do this here different, it would look like this. And there we go. All right, let's see what this one is. Okay, so that's the nose. That's simply a straight line there. Again, if I take the restriction out, there's that straight line, but I have to tell it, okay, make sure to only start at negative 0.5. By the way, I did turn off the x-axis and the y-axis, so if I turn them on temporarily, we can see that. So I told it, I told Asmos, hey, you start at negative 0.5, y is larger than that, but then you stop at 0.7, and y is smaller than that, or 0.7 is larger than, than that point seven there and I accidentally took that away there it's back okay so there's my nose there's probably this one is probably the other part of the nose again that looks like an ellipse here a part of an ellipse and again I put that restriction in here to make sure there's oh yeah there's a y and an x restriction I guess I did that so if I don't do that well my lower part of the nose didn't really look so pretty all right, so the next one, that's actually just the point within the eye. There's probably an easier way of doing that. Let me just try that. If I use this one here, negative 0.5 comma 1. There we go. That's actually the other one now. And then maybe if I made this smaller. Yeah, there we go. There we go, or there we go, so, and then if I don't make it red, but black here, that's probably easier to do than these here that I tried to do earlier. So I could even take this one out and just make a couple of dots there. Before I take the other one out, this one is probably really similar to that. Put a negative there. 
There we go. Change the color. And put the, uh, there are four or five or something like that, right? There we go. And now I can actually take the more complicated version out of that. There we go, right? Okay. This one here, this one here identifies itself as a hyperbola. Let's see what that was. Oh, okay, that was the hair up there, all right. Again, if I take this restriction out, then it would look like this, right? So I just wanted to, I put that hyperbola in there and figured, okay, I just want to have that upper part. And so I carefully have to say, okay, between these two x values, just a little bit less than zero here and just about one. In fact, it says so here, one, there we go. And that would be pretty much the same hyperbola just on the other side. Okay, back to an ellipse, and I believe these are the ears, and I remember that took me quite a while to figure that out, to put them in the correct position. So here's the entire ellipse. And then, of course, I had to shift it just right, so it's just at the edge of the face here, and then put that restriction in here and say, okay, cut it off here, so I have an ear here and an ear there. All right, and then let's see, that also looks like an ellipse, so apparently I I'll, I'll used a lot of ellipses. No, no, that's not, it's not. See the minus here? That's a hyperbola. And I guess I wanted to have this mustache, and I figured, oh, hyperbola looks pretty well, especially if I make it as sharp as this one here. Let's see if I change this one here. Yeah, there we go, that doesn't look like a good one, so I did this one here, right? And if I put another zero here, notice how, um, Height it gets there. And then I wanted to cut it off, right? I didn't want it to go on forever. So if I go in here, for example, and, and I say, okay, I make this number larger here. So a 0.9 here and a 0.9 over there. Well, that was a little bit too large. So I chose these values. All right, the coffee cup. This one here is kind of like a an ellipse with the square and the square. However, it's not the square and the square. It's the eighth power there. And what the eighth power allows me is to make that former ellipse. Notice when I change this one here to a square, I actually do get an ellipse. At least a very small one. Why is it so small? All right, that looks better. Oh no, that was a really small circle, so here my circle or ellipse becomes really squarish by doing that. By the way, only even exponents work. This one here actually makes it really look interesting if you change these here to odd exponents. So these are actually Lamé curves that, that do that. And then yeah, here is the holding on to the coffee cup, and that's what I call the face that I made.